This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. He is. He's talking about all the various eras that have come and gone, and he discusses. He says B Buddy Rogers, Bruno San Martino. He's talking through Hogan and Cena and all of them. And uh, he's. Uh, this is all setting the stage, as you said. He's talking about the 500th edition of Raw that's approaching, and uh, their things need to be shaken up again. we got to kind of start over again with the creative is essentially what he's saying. And uh, he's going to bring in some new general managers, so setting the stage for what's about to go down. By the way, the rumor and innuendo at the time was that uh, during Vince Russo's one week in creative, he suggested an idea similar to this. Is that how you uh, remember it? No. No. Okay. It may have happened, though, Paul. I, I'm not saying it didn't happen. I just don't recall it being. Yeah, he had a real short return there in 2002. I remember that. It was yeah. just in and out. Uh, and, and I'm not sure exactly what the all the politics behind that were or weren't. Sure. Uh, and there again, same with thing, the old genie in the bottle analogy. It's hard to recreate your magic once you've you've done it and you and you've taken leave for whatever reason. So at this point, Jim, and we've had some questions that have come in as well, and I'm going to ask those as we go through the show. Were you aware already before the show started about Bischoff and the plan for him to come in? Yeah, of course. Okay. So, uh, How far, like, you Eric were part of that another, decision process? Eric was, Eric was just another talent. Not, I don't mean that flippantly. Okay. So if, if any talent coming on the roster, I was involved in because I was, that was my, that was my territory, so to speak. Yeah. Uh, sometimes I didn't know all the creative plans and machinations that were planned for these talents, but somebody has got to negotiate a contract. Somebody has got to get them signed up. And even though you can agree in principle, sometimes agreeing to the, to the mathematics of the deal can be a, a little bit challenging, but absolutely. I was, I was ready. What was your, uh, we had a, a, someone write in a wrestling historian, one of our friends, he's a big time supporter ad free shows. And he said, what was your initial reaction JR to Eric Bischoff and the idea of bringing him him and him being a part of joining the WWE? I thought it was a very bold and, uh, uh, and kind of a, not, I want to say iffy, that's not a good term. Uh, I just thought it was a very bold move because, you know, for, for whatever reason, and I don't, and I never agreed with this, uh, Eric was, uh, you know, not liked by a lot of guys because of past, you know, WCW business and so forth. So if there's a good shot of our part of our roster loaded yeah. roster, notice Eddie and, uh, Ben Wall standing next to each other. You have hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you get a notice anytime we upload some new content. And go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30 year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money, it's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com.